Hey, Budster! No. Brandon, it's me, Steven. Why are you all dressed up? Oh, I'm getting ready for the mask parade. Oh, the masquerade? Yes, the mask parade. No, I think you mean masquerade. It's, it's a party in which costumes are worn and masks are put on. Oh, well then I guess uh, it's a masquerade mask parade. You wanna join? Um, I don't have a mask, sorry. Oh, well, there will be plenty coming, but here, I have one you can decorate. Oh, thanks. But hurry, though. It's about to start. All right. So, hurry. I'm hurrying. Okay. How many people will come to this thing? People? <laughs> None. So it's just us? Uh-huh. It's not much of a masquerade. Mask parade. <sighs> Fine. When is this mask parade? Uh, I don't know. I think, uh... Oh! Right now! Hurry up, put it on! Ah, a mask parade. <laughs> Wasn't it glorious? Oh, hello everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm Steven. And you're watching The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. You know, we can, we can do that better. Let's try it again. You're watching The, the So-and-So so -so show. show. What is wrong? I don't know. I'm just not really feeling it. Feeling what? Like celebrating or jumping up and down excited. I'm a bit off today. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm actually feeling a little off myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not unhappy, no. just not... Joyful. Yeah. yeah. I'm missing joy. Well, let's find some. Where? And how? I'm your Huckleberry! Oh, it's Leonard. What are you doing here? Well, I heard you guys say you were looking for some joy. Oh. We sure are. And for those who haven't met you yet, why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? Oh. <clears throat> My name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. I travel the world with my trusted friend Camilla here to find anything that's lost. And it seems that you guys have lost your joy. Now that's one of the most important things to have in life. It's more important than catch up on your lima beans, which is really important. You can't, can't really eat them without it. So we got to find your joy. And lucky for you, Camilla has got a special Joy setting. Oh, I guess you have to look for joy a lot. Huh? Oh yeah, all the time. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, got something. Got something. And we're off on the hunt. And it's over here. No, not the basketball. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like it's in here. Oh, what's this? Hey, I think this is it. Look at that. Well, you're right, that clearly says joy, yeah. but I don't think this it's is- It's my grandma's old cookie jar! I forgot she gave that to me. When I was a kid, she used to bake my favorite triple chocolate chip cookies, and then she put them in here for dinner. But guess what? Spoiler alert, she'd always sneak me one right before dinner while my parents weren't looking, and those cookies were the best! Yeah. Were so oh, look, were they like these? <gasps> Oh, triple chocolate crab. How old are those? I don't know. See? Oh. Camilla found your joy. <laughs> I love you, Grandma. <laughs> right, what about me? I don't think that eating some old cookie is going to work for me. Is there any more joy around here? Hey, we'll just keep on looking. All right. That's what we do. Okay. Okay, hang on. Oh, we got something? Yep, got something. It's coming. Oh. oh, oh, I think it's in here. We never open those. Oh. No, nothing in here, unless, unless it's this. Blanky? No. You recognize this doohickey? Can you use that blanky? Yeah, but it, it, it can't possibly be. I lost it years ago. Well, what does it look like? Well, it was light blue, like this one. It was really <laughs> fluffy, like this one. And it had a tiny mark where I'd been chewing on it because I used to chew on it when I fell asleep. Ooh. Wow, a 
Blakey, I thought I'd lost you forever. <laughs> and we found Joy, another satisfying customer. <laughs> Way to go, Camilla. My mom always used to say that when I hugged Blanky, it was like getting a warm hug from her while she was away on work trips. <laughs> That's why she gave it to me. It's still just as warm and cozy as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep, joy is all around us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like there's something else. More Got joy. some other joy that's missing. What? What? Well, looks like it's this plant. Does this plant bring you guys joy? No. no. Well, let me see. Wait a minute. It's not the plant. It's this mirror. Now that, well, wait a minute. No, it's not the mirror. It's what's in the mirror. Look at that, I can see Camilla. And Camilla has brought me so much joy ever since my Aunt Ruby gave it to me oh. so many years ago. We've been hunting joy and aluminum cans ever since. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> I love joy. Hey guys! Whoa, 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 what's wrong? We're joyful! Yeah. You don't seem joyful. Oh, we found things that remind us of joyful times with family. <laughs> oh, I, I get that. There are a lot of ways to express joy, clearly. Do you have a story for us? I do. This story comes from the book of John. Jesus went to a wedding with his mother, Mary, in the village of Cana. Now, this was before Jesus was known all around as a great miracle worker. Of course, that was about to change. Uh, looks like we have some important breaking news. <clears throat> Three, two, hello. I'm Diane DeWitt, and this is the Ancient News Network, where we only cover the most ancient news. Tonight, laser discs, fancy dinner plates, or giant frisbees. More on that later. Up first. A beautiful wedding feast gone sour when the guests run out of wine. Joining us live from Cana is the bride of the wedding. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on your big day. <laughs> it was supposed to be a big day. <laughs> the happiest day of my life but now we've run out of wine at the feast. And why is that a problem? If we don't drink the wine, then we have to drink the water. <laughs> have you had the water here? It's gross. I see. We're supposed to provide all the food and drink for our guests. But who wants to come to a wedding feast with a sack lunch? Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Draco, cousin Draco, hand me those grapes. <sighs> Do you have a plan moving forward? Oh, I don't know. Maybe hide under a rock. <laughs> What am I going to do? Well, there you have it. There will be whining at the wedding feast, but no wine. Back to you. Thanks for that. Yeah, so while Jesus was at the wedding, they ran out of wine. When his mom told him about it, Jesus replied, Dear woman, why are you telling me about this? The time for me to show who I really am isn't here yet. But the wedding feast wasn't going so well, 
and the people started to lose joy. So Mary found some servants and, oh, looks like there's an update. I'm Diane DeWitt from the Ancient News Network. Later, a car that can travel through time? No. But first, an update from Cana. Joining us on the scene is one of the servers from the wedding feast. What can you tell us, random server? My name's Tom. Tom, how's the wedding feast going? Did people leave when they ran out of wine? No, we have wine now. It's a miracle. What do you mean? Just a beard. I don't know how to explain it. One of the guests, Mary, told us to do whatever her son said to do. And this guy told us to fill six of the washing jars with water. Washing jars? Yeah. They use them for special washing, ceremonial stuff. They're huge, 20 or 30 gallons. Ew, and why did he want you to fill them with water? I don't know, but we thought the guy was important or something, so we did what he said. Jesus was his name. We filled the jars to the top. Then he told us to dip some out and take it to the person in charge. And what did the person in charge say? He tasted it and said it was the best wine of the wedding. But it was water. I promise you, we put water in those jars. Something must have happened. A miracle. So you think the water was turned into wine? I do. And you know something else? I think this guy, Jesus, was the one who did it. So the wedding feast is saved? You're telling me. Everyone's saying this wine is better than the stuff they served at the start of the feast. I thought this day was gonna be an embarrassment. But no, Jesus brought joy to the whole crowd. Hey, conga line. A happy ending to an awkward situation. Later on the Ancient News Network. Someone filled the popular children's toys with corn instead of beans. Corny babies? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Diane DeWitt. Back to you. Thank you so much. This was Jesus' first miracle. It wasn't healing of the sick. It wasn't feeding 5,000 people. Instead, Jesus brought joy to friends and family at a celebration. It just goes to show you how important joy is. Yeah, yeah, that story really perked me up. Me too. I love that Jesus helped keep the celebration going. I know. Jesus saw a way to bring joy to the situation, and he brought it big time. Thanks, Kellen. As always, you bring us joy. Oh, thanks, fellas. I'll catch you next time. It's so cool that someone can bring joy to someone else. Yeah, it's comforting, like Blanky. Hey, what? that's... Nothing. You can hold him for a while if you want, if it helps bring you joy. Thank you. Reveal the question! Who are the people who help you find joy? Uh, it could be someone in your family uh, or a friend. Or someone who remembers to give you a call on your birthday. I said I was sorry. It's fine. Oh, I know who helped me find joy. Leonard. Totally. He helped us find Blanky. And Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. You're welcome. Ah! We thought you'd left. Nope. <laughs> what about you? Who are the people who help you find Joy? Talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on The, the So and So Show! show. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh, look at that! This thing! Look at this little turtle! This little turtle brings me joy. Hey, little fella. Go into the bag. Go in there. Let's see what else. Oh, this robot! Look at this robot! This robot. Hello! Take me to your leader! <laughs> this robot brings me joy. Oh, oh yeah, it'll bring me joy for about $35. All right, let's see. Oh, look at this! This is perfume! Oh, man! Oh, 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 that is nasty!